Hello and welcome back. So in this episode, we're actually going to be talking about how to add a fire detection zone on the Vista 20P security system panel. So as I mentioned, I think a couple episodes ago, the designated fire zone is actually zone 1. The reason that is, I believe it's because zone 1, like on its terminals, basically has its own auxiliary output of like 12 volts or so to power two wire detectors such as this one. Yep, this is a two wire smoke detector. So yeah, it can only be used for two wire smoke detectors on the zone one uh, fire zone, unfortunately. If you had some other type of detector such as a four wire, um, as far as I know, that would basically just be wired just like any other auxiliary powered zone. Like a couple of its leads going into the auxiliary uh, output, like the same uh, keypad terminals. And then the other two just going into a zone, that, and therefore just functions as a normal zone. So this is the two wire smoke detector that I'm going to be putting on the fire zone. This is a system sensor I3 two wire smoke detector. I'm just going to give you more a close look at it. Yeah. And let's actually take the detector head off too. So yep, system sensor I3. And I don't know how well you can read that, but it is, it is a photoelectric detector. Let's take this cover off too. And yep, you can see the vent right there. And this is the base of the smoke detector. So the only terminals that we need to worry about are these three, the two positives and the negative. RA plus and minus we're not going to worry about. RA basically stands for remote annunciation. In a nutshell, you can connect some external light or some external signal to those terminals. And those terminals will energize it when the smoke detector goes into alarm. So in this case, yeah, we're not going to worry about that. So the actual two uh, wires from that zone, since it's just a two wire smoke detector, are going to go in a negative and positive terminal. And the extra positive terminal is actually reserved for bridging a resistor from the positive to the negative. So yeah, another thing about this smoke detector, or just actually uh, regarding the two wire fire zone in general, is that it actually requires a resistor to be installed in line for it to uh, be recognized by the panel. Um, because if you don't, the panel is just going to keep throwing off troubles at you. It doesn't know that the smoke detector is there. And basically the resistor is the only way it can tell that the smoke detector is there. So just like I mentioned that the zone is not going to function correctly on the system without a resistor being there. For the first time in this series of videos, we are going to be using a resistor. So yeah, we're going to be using, this is a, this is just a 1K resistor. And that's going to be installed in line with the zone wires. Alright, so now let's just jump right into wiring this thing. So since this is a two wire smoke detector, that means we only need to be using two wires. Out of my four wire strand here. So these two wires, they're going to go into the negative and positive terminal. So in my case, I'm deciding to use the black wire as the negative. That's just my personal preference. It just makes the most sense to me. But don't forget what I've said about colors in the previous videos. So anyhow, I'm just going to go ahead and put the black into the negative. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the red wire into the positive terminal here. All right, so now that we got those two in, now we need to install the resistor. So, like I mentioned before, the resistor is going to bridge between the extra positive terminal here and the negative terminal. So I'm just going to put, yeah, one leg of the resistor into this extra positive terminal here. And then I'm going to put the other leg into the negative terminal. And there we go, we have just officially finished wiring it up. So now that we've finished wiring up the smoke detector side, now all we need to do is just simply put the detector head back on. So 
so here we are back at the main panel circuit board. So just like a couple episodes ago when we had to skip over zone 1 for regular zone wiring, now for this episode we're jumping back to zone 1. So referencing the schematic again, zone 1 is terminals 8 and 9 on the circuit board. And you can even see next to zone 1, it specifically says can be used for two wire smoke detectors. And if you also look um, below, like where it says zone one, you see that zigzag line? Well, zigzag lines on a schematic diagram like this means a resistor. So you can actually use resistors for every zone if you wanted to, if they were normally open zones. But if they're normally closed, yeah, there's really no need for that because um, I mean, what the resistor is really doing for you is supervising the zone. So, like in this case, for the smoke detector, if we take off the smoke detector head, um, the panel will detect a difference in resistance and will go into trouble. And same thing with any other zone that's like normally open. If you were to like cut the wire to a zone, the panel is going to notice that. And depending on what state the system is in, it might go into trouble or it might go into full alarm. So anyhow, um, when wiring up this two-wire smoke detector, it is actually polarity sensitive. Um, you probably would have noticed that when looking at the detector base where it said positive and negative. So looking at the schematic where it says high and low, high is positive and low is negative. So in my case, we're back here again. Yeah, I use the red wire on the positive terminal on the smoke detector base, and I use black for negative. So we just need to make sure that those two colors match when wiring it here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put red in the positive terminal, and then I'm going to be using the black wire on the low side, which really just means negative. And there we go. We're basically all wired up now. All right, so now the moment that we've been waiting for, an operational test. So I'm just gonna go ahead and energize the system. And let's see if this thing comes to life. Hey, there we go. I saw some blinking lights there. That's a good sign. And now we just have a single blinking green light, so that means it's in normal state. Alright, so we finally got the fire trouble to go away, and the system is, I mean, mostly in a normal state. It's still yelling at me about other miscellaneous troubles, but not related to fire. So, the fire is functioning correctly. So now, um, let's actually do a test of this smoke detector. So, I mean, first, we could test it just the boring way, which is just, you know, simply putting in a screwdriver and pushing the test button right there. I'm just going to let you get a better look at that light. And it looks like it's functioning the way it should. Yep, the system says fire zone one. Another thing that's unique about the fire zone too is it has the ability to uh, momentarily cut off power to the two wire smoke detector to reset it. So when I punch in the code and disarm it again, yep, see, you saw it just went dead and it's gonna reset now. All right, so now the smoke detector is back to its normal state and it has reset. So now this time, we're actually going to test it the more fun way. Yep, I'm going to spray some smoke check into it. Specifically made for testing smoke detectors. So, just need to give this probably a couple sprays or so into the vents of the detector. Maybe just one.
Maybe. Yep, there we go. Yep, so now we have just tested it with a smoke check. So now, of course, um, after using smoke check, that's probably going to hang around the detector, the vents, for a little bit. So if I reset it, it's probably just going to activate again. So I guess before I officially reset it, um, or like while, after it cuts out power to the detector and while it's in the process of resetting, I'm going to take off this smoke detector head and uh, blast it with some uh, canned air. Yep, I'm just going to take some canned air here and I'm just going to shoot it through the detector's vents just to try to get that smoke check out of there because it tends to hang around there for a little bit. All right. And now the moment of truth. Let's see if it's gonna activate again after I put the head back on. And after it completely resets and comes back. Alright, so it looks like we actually got it. Because now it's flashing just green again and it's not going to keep triggering. So it looks like the canned air fixed the problem. So, anyhow. Um, it appears that we have successfully uh, added a fire detection zone to the Vista 20P security panel. So that's going to do it for this episode. So, you guys... Yeah, I mean, thank you guys for watching, and you guys take care.